about six weeks before he died, he called me into the Bluebird, mm -hmm. and he briefed me uh, on that he was going to drop his body. Mm -hmm. He was going to be leaving. He wanted to drop his body. Mm -hmm. he, he, he told me basically that he failed. Really? Yeah. He said he failed, and, uh, you know, uh, so he's, he's leaving. And uh, he didn't seem upset. You know what I mean? I mean, he wasn't like... Uh, this emotional over it. Mm -hmm. He just stated the fact. I failed, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was like a, a briefing, like he would brief me to go to town and get the, you know what I mean? It was that way. He was just explaining things mm -hmm. to me. He was trying to explain to me. Mm -hmm. I was pretty shook up. I bet. And then is that the point that he asked you to go to something? Yeah. Uh, several weeks went by, and I was supposed to be working on the building this machine. And uh, Andy kept pestering me. He need, he, Sarge, you got to work on it. You got to start doing so. You got to do this. You got you have to do it. He, he pestered me. He asked me every day about this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so what I did is I, I did a little bit of research. I, I had read some books about uh, Nikola Tesla and stuff, mm -hmm. and I figured maybe building a Tesla coil would probably be the uh, the best wet route to go. And I built that, and I, I had little electrodes that you you hook it up to the e-meter, so when he's on the cans, then uh, he would just flip the button and, and it would do its thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, that was the whole idea. I, I designed it that way, but I just wanted to scare him mm -hmm. a little bit. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to kill him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, 12 holes thing in it. And he brought it back to me, and it was all burnt up. Didn't work anymore. I didn't ask any questions after that. I was upset over about the, about the whole thing. I didn't want to do it to begin with. And I didn't want anybody to know I did it. You know what I mean? Did you and Annie and Pat and others talk about this afterwards and no. discuss this again? You know, that's the odd part. We, it, it, it wasn't brought up at all. Not, not at all. Yeah, you would think somebody would say, you need to be debriefed on that or something. Yeah. Nobody did. Nobody did. They knew about the machine. Annie knew. Annie was the one who passed for me. Annie took it into her, you know. And then uh, Pat had to have known because I'm sure Annie told him, you know. I didn't talk about it.